And now for the Monero development segment. Oh, dude. Hey. You good. How's it going, man? Hello. How's it going? Going pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> What's new? I feel like it's been a long time. <laughs> Yeah, I just got back from California, so it was um, it's been okay. It was, it was nothing compared to y'all. Y'all like literally are in a different country every every Maranatopia. So this, it feels a little bit. I can't, I can't complain. I'll say that y'all are literally globe trying. So this, <laughs> me going across my my country is no big deal. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome too. Traveling in general is awesome. We just, you know, <laughs> decided to ask Marocon to take another short trip. You need a, you need a little break. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's <laughs> while you were out. Luke Parker, What's oh, up? go ahead, Tux. Oh, sorry, I just said you had to while you were still out. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, right, you're close not. to it. <laughs> anyway, right, go ahead. So, you good? This is, uh, I, I assume this is on full membership proofs. Oh, of course, it's the only thing I've been thinking about for the past week, and All right. It, and uh, you have an interview with Luke about this? I wasn't able to find it on the on the channel. Is it going to be released? Yeah, it's going to be released. Yeah, at MoneroCon, obviously, we spoke to... Well, we spoke to Luke on, mm -hmm. on a MoneroTopia episode, a live MoneroTopia episode. He, he jumped on mm -hmm. at MoneroCon, and then I interviewed him after that uh, with, with him and Sarang and Aram, and Aram wow. which was interesting. Uh, oh, wow. Aram is from Firo, the Firo Project. Mm-hmm. Um, so that that was an interesting interview, um, but yeah. So I think we'll be, if we, yeah we're releasing them one by one. We release MIDI poet. We'll do Arctic Mines. Yeah, it'll, it'll be then, coming out soon. Oh, okay. I was, I was looking for it last night. I was like, man, I couldn't find it. <laughs> no, 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 we're releasing them one by one. So yes. people can you know embrace. Everything. Yeah, yeah. We didn't want to put it all out at once. Oh, so sorry. That makes sense. But, but yeah, I'm wet. super excited. But yeah. Um, I I have been amazed. Yeah, sorry. I've just been thinking about this for the past week because it came seemingly out of nowhere. But basically, Luke Parker and Friends Evolve Monero. Um, you probably heard about it now, like Doug mentioned. It's about full membership proofs. So basically, just to give you, like, who is Luke Parker? Like I said, Doug has had interviews with Luke Parker before. They are a coder. I'll let you see how they describe them. So they are a developer and informal cartographer. The informal cartographer part is very interesting. I would like to see more what they mean about that. They got into a little bit, but I'd love to see more what it means to do that because they put some amazing cryptographic work together. Basically, Luke Parker is a longtime Monero dev. They've worked on Sarai Dex. And recently at MoneroCon, they had, I would say, one of the biggest changes to Monero. Potential, potential changes, right? Like one of the biggest changes to Monero. I guess one of the most, the biggest jumps that Monero have seen, because in the past, if you, if you go back to Monero's past, usually most progression has been incremental, right? You, you'll, you'll get, you'll, you'll go to ring signatures, then you got ring CT, then you got like bulletproof. It was sort of like it made sense about how the progression went. But as someone who's like studies Monero's history and development, this seemed to come, it, it didn't come out of uh, out of nowhere. It looks like for a while, but this is one of the most incremental changes I've seen about Monero. We'll get into what that change is. So pretty much at MoneroCom, which is this big event that Doug emceed, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, had, I emceed yeah. On, the, on the first day. Luke Luke was uh, considering ma making this announcement at Monerotopia, um, but he, wa he wanted to stick to, you know, he, the Sarai stuff. And I think he wanted to, you know, bake it a little bit more before he, get, before he went on stage with it. So uh super exciting though that he did it there at monero con and yeah it's just amazing because you know luke has been working on uh sarai right like i mean that, that that's that's a monumental project in, in and of itself and the fact that he kind of did this on the side is just amazing like i the, the the brain on this on this guy is just insane um and I don't fully understand it. You know, I understand the basics, but my understanding is this, you know, this isn't kind of, this isn't really a replica of what Zcash has done. No. It's a, a different path uh, towards the same end in terms of having a full anonymity set, but it's not, it's not copying, not that there'd be anything wrong with that, but it's, it's just, uh, 
it's unique in the way the way in which uh, Luke has devised this. And my understanding, it's it's using uh, bulletproofs to get us there. But mm -hmm. you you could get into that. But yeah, just I just want to make the comment that uh, obviously always been impressed and very much impressed with Luke. But the fact that this was a side thing that he was working on while working on Sarai, which is an amazing project to begin with, for those who aren't familiar with that, I mean, that, that's coming down the pipe as well. That's going to be uh, a DEX uh, um, that, that will be released soon, uh, similar to ThorChain with liquidity pools. I mean, all, all that stuff is tremendous as well. And then in the meantime, Luke, subtly on the side, uh, you know, figures out full membership proofs for Monero and basically... My understanding is kind of like like actually devised how how it can be done, not just talking in 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 theory, but actually came up with a plan of how to implement it. But go ahead, take, yeah. take it away. No, I mean you said you basically just just summarized my entire presentation. It is it is insane that as a side project, Luke did this. Like it's if you study the history of, of zero knowledge proofs, this isn't like generally speaking in the Monero in zero knowledge proof history, you've had two main implementations you've had zcash and Firo, and they've been working on their full membership proof oh Firo has been doing like sort of zero knowledge stuff not well has been doing sort of full membership ish stuff but zcash has been the main dominator and they've spent millions of dollars right like millions of dollars decades almost a decade of work getting to the full membership proof and it's crazy that Luke just got it from Monero in a side project like I just think people understand what that like with <laughs> zcash has literally had like millions of dollars spent on research people i think 10 years of research going back all the way to the original stuff and luke just did it and as a side like it's just a casual side thing as one person it's it, 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 it seems too good to be true luke is amazing this is a wild thing let's get more into it sorry i keep saying that but basically my understanding of if you and i, I linked to luke's talk at the uh, end of this basically luke found this paper that made full memberships proof using bulletproofs efficient because before he, um they weren't really efficient to do enough to do full membership proofs right and, and for anyone watching a full membership proof means that most of the transactions on monero blockchains can be decoys right now to give an example you get 16 decoys at most right you get 16 decoys as the network protocol rule full membership proofs would allow you to have i think every transaction up in, in um, Monero's history, essentially. So thousands, hundreds of thousands, probably. Maybe a million. I'm not too sure. But you're, you're going from 16 to something that's a, a thousand plus. And, and and Luke's doing this efficiently. And, my, and the crazy part is that this paper came out, I believe it was released six months ago-ish. So between when this paper was released, Luke was able to read it, understand it, and use it to make full membership proof on Monero efficient enough to be acceptable. And it had, seemingly I know where to me. I have been following the GitHub report, but I didn't see it coming this fast, essentially. And Luke not only had the theory behind how to do this to get full membership proofs, something that I believe Zcash has right now. And I don't know if Firo has pretty large group sets too, but I'm not sure Firo even has full membership proof as of this moment. But no, so they no, have, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. yeah, yeah. So they have pretty much Luke, pretty much has this summary here, and they not only have the theory, right? Which is one person six months has a theory for it, they actually have co implementations for majority of the work, rough sketches of it, right? And they've actually released that on GitHub in the thread. So, a majority of the work, majority of the preliminary work is done, right? This wasn't just a theory that Luke had. That Luke was like, oh, I think this is possible. Well, you've had that forever, right? People are showing up and say, oh, we can get full membership this way, do this. Luke showed up, did the work, and actually wrote code that implements a large portion of the rough parts, right? Of course, it needs to be reviewed. Of course, it needs to be, you know, peer, peer review, implemented different ways, be talked to around the dev. This is a, amazing, right? Like, I just I just want to be sure to, to put it in perspective for people who aren't, you know, following the tech, how amazing it is, is Luke came out with full membership proofs pretty much in six months with not just himself. He had people helping him, which I'll get into later. Someone you would probably recognize by now helping him and stuff like that. But it's just amazing, right? Any, any questions, Doug? Am I getting the gravity of the situation together? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think you are. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Um, like, no, no question. I, I would, yeah, I would definitely recommend people check out the interviews that we had uh, from the NarrowCon mm-hmm. with Luke um, and, uh, yeah, what's his name from, from the Firo team. Uh, is some interesting back and forth taking place there, kind of in real time, because they were hanging out there at the conference discussing these issues. So it was like it was like being in a, a Monero dev chat in person, in real watching life. them kind of yeah figure figure this out on the fly. Um, and then obviously they're going to continue conversations, but it, it was kind of cool because we caught them in in moments of uh, realization as as they're discussing. My understanding, it looks like like Firo might you know, be able to implement this faster than Monero? Maybe not, but they might, especially given that they're, you know, a smaller project and can kind of move faster. Uh, and it's, you know, not analogous. Firo is not completely analogous to Monero, but um, they, you know, that that is a possibility. But yeah, definitely recommend checking out those interviews for more insights. And I'm sure at some point we'll have Luke on again Maybe you can maybe you can join me on that so you could ask some uh, more technical questions. But yeah, no, I think you're definitely expressing the gravity of this situation for sure. Like you're doing, you're doing yeah, a good job. Like, Keep going. Because I mean, yeah, because I mean, Zcash. I mean, let's, like Zcash has been working on this since like 2012, I believe, and and they just got full membership through Trustless two years ago. So it took them a decade to get something similar to this and i just it's just like man this is obviously luke stood on the shoulders of people that came before him but like you know people are talking about getting this like you know within five six seven years that was the timeline people have been given for this and luke gave very good reasons this will probably be in seraphis if it's successful because doing after seraphis would make things harder right so i think they're gonna bonus in service i think service has a timeline of i don't want to you know three years maybe right no that's the ones I've heard. No more than three, maybe probably shorter than that. In my experience, it's just yeah, actually yeah, crazy. I, I think than that. Yeah, <laughs> and he all did it in a maid co- in a maid outfit. So it's like definitely serving the Monero community. <laughs> did do you know how this was funded? Did Luke just do this? Was it like I I, I didn't see a no, grant or anything? I do, I do believe it was. I do believe it was funded. Uh, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. I don't want to misattribute or anything. Mm-hmm. But I do think he he was funded for his his development on the side for sure. Yeah. Was that like a magic I grant do. or? Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I might be wrong. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I don't okay. Wanna... Yeah, that makes uh, sense. I was like, this is pound for pound one of the biggest cryptographic advancements that I've seen. Monero, right? Just one person doing this, less than six months, getting it out, getting in front of people is amazing. And that's what this means, right? Right now, Monero's biggest flaw is going to be his ring signatures. If you've watched it, like any show, every time there's a, there's a bug in Monero. It, it, it's never the amounts being revealed. Oh my God. Gee, nine months? Yeah, that's what Monero Bull's saying. Uh, Monero Bull, if you want if you want to jump on on the viewers on stage segment to throw in some more comments with regards to full membership proofs, please do. This is gonna be out in nine. Does that mean implemented in nine months? I'm just that's ridiculous. That's just crazy. I don't know what. <laughs> I think they're both saying that um, Seraphis was, you know, uh, nine months away. But now if they add full membership proofs, it's going to add maybe another three to six months. Let's say six months, right, uh, to that deadline. Um, So, yeah, you know, we're a little less than two years away. I'd say two years. years let's, let's Let's play it safe. Yeah, yeah. And a half. it's a big thing. This is a big, this is a massive thing. And just to come out, oh yeah, we'll have it out in nine, nine-ish months, you no, know, two years. I'm like, when other coins take decades to get, like, it's just like, I just, <laughs> like, I don't know. It feels, it feels good to be true, but this is amazing. So what this means is right now to reiterate, Monero's biggest, uh, yeah, companies will have nothing left at this point. The biggest thing people have against Monero, oh, it's not full membership proofs, not an enemy set 16, but like, Literally, due to the work of these great people, we're going to thousands, possibly millions, membership proof sizes, which at that point, like, all the fun would be gone. I mean, maybe not all of it because people just make up stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the majority of the te- technical, reasonable, like, d- any doubts anyone might have is 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 crazy, right? And once again, we're going from 16 to thousands of membership proofs. And that's the biggest 
attack vector that Monero has, every bug or every um attack vector has always led back to ring signatures. The address has never been violated as far as I know. Well, there's some small things, and then the amount has also had no major issues. It's always time after time been ring signatures, but with this, I doubt that will be a major issue anymore. I just want to put some warnings behind this. I'm super excited. Everyone's super excited about this, but um, as Luke said in his talk, it, it needs to be more reviewed, more worked through. Nothing's guaranteed, and things are moving at breakneck speeds. Because, I mean, like, nine months to implement this as an estimate is, is, is bonkers, right? Like, <laughs> to have this out in less than two, three years is crazy. No other project has had had that, right? Because um, if you look at Fire, for example, Fire's are working on stuff, and they have Serang working on, I believe, full-time, maybe not full-time, but they've had also decades of work getting to this point, and it's just wild to see this happen. Am I, are there any questions? I'm, I feel like I'm just keep reiterating how I still haven't fully processed what it means to just overnight have, not overnight, but like for Luke Parker to come out with something like that. Are there any questions anyone has? No, like, that's like really exciting. Like he really had a slam dunk there. I would personally suggest double time just because of how long, like, you know, things take mm -hmm. and people don't realize it. But even if, even if it was like, let's say a year and a half before this was fully implemented, that's still crazy time for something like this. That's really impressive. And that's really not that long. <laughs> no, it's not. Like, other projects take a decade to get this. We're doing it, or not we. I didn't do any of this. The, the dev team, <laughs> Luke, and, Luke and company are doing this in a matter of months. Max two years is 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 crazy. I'm literally just having I haven't wrapped my mind around how this is possible. I mean, I get that the paper was there, but like how like I mean, Monero is some of the best stuff. These, these guys are it's, it's like trying to like watching like Michael Jordan at his peak, and you're just like, how is this like they're like actual possible? geniuses? Yeah, actual ge like legitimately geniuses who care about Monero, love Monero. I mean, these guys aren't paid enough. I don't, I don't know how much he was paid if he was paid, but these guys, I mean. It, it, <sighs> It's just, yeah, I, I, I want to keep making – this is amazing. I think hopefully we'll have a Luke on. Like I said, um, Doug has already had an interview with him in the past. I'm on Sarai. He also um, commented on the Morinos project or the like the issue when Monero had, like the NFT issue. Uh, I believe Luke had an interview with Doug about that also. So, I mean, Luke is an amazing guy, very humble. In my opinion, too humble. I mean, this is God tier. I haven't seen anything like this in, in the cryptography space and, and since, like, Satoshi White Paper – and maybe like I guess like the Grin, um, the Grin paper that came out talking about privacy tech. So this is the biggest privacy investment I've seen in the space in a while. But yeah, we're gonna have just a, I'm gonna wrap it up. I've I feel like I've just keep reiterating myself. So we're gonna have a little Monero history quiz. Which Monero dev also helped Luke write code for this issue? So you've probably seen this person before, but um. I'm going to let y'all think about who it is. You probably know them. You know, if you've been paying attention, you would know who this person is. Give you a couple more seconds. The question oh, again pick is... pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> Tuxedo, what do, you, what do you think? Oh, I already know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully... Yeah, I think I... Which, which Monero dev also helped Luke write code for this issue? The answer is going to be Tevador. Tevador is on the GitHub issues that this there is walking through. And also has been working on zero launch proofs for a while, I believe, even before the GitHub issue. Question mark. I don't know what these guys just put out stuff, and I'm always trying to keep up with them. Like, <laughs> but like, um, yeah, the Tem Temidor is, I think, most known for implementing uh, random X with Tower True. By the way, that's not a picture of Tevador. That's uh, that's Need Money ninety. Just uh, for anybody Jesus. who's uh, Te Tevador is uh, fully anonymous, as far as I know. I mean, he's been on the show, but he uh, remained anonymous. Um, Yes, yes. and also Tevador also did the random X stuff. Like literally, code Tevador written is in Tor. I believe as of now, like running in Tor, which is crazy. And Luke Parker comment re the numbers I gave were seven hundred. Is this seven hundred and seventy-seven million? million? Yeah, am I? <laughs> it's we can still do better. Of course, Luke is like, yeah, I got seven hundred seventy-seven million. For reference, we have sixteen. Right now, as a standard, sixteen. This dude's not and getting paid. Oh my! <laughs> uh, Luke has yet to receive any funding. Uh, I'm sure we'll see some some funding requests coming coming around at some point. And if we do, uh, I'm sure we'll be very quickly funded uh, with 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 zeal from the Monero community for sure. 
I'm sorry. I'm just like for not for free, but unfunded Luke just as a side project, like came up and got Monero potentially, potentially, right? We're gonna put some caveat. Seven hundred and seventy-seven million decoy sizes. Just I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop. I just keep reiterating. This is this this is. Yeah, maybe we could if you have time, we can have a Luke on so he can talk about it. So I, before I, I just like yeah, Luke, Luke please, yeah. please uh, jump on if you can. Um, Huss, yeah, if this... you want to put the link, the link there for him to jump on as a guest, mm-hmm. and if Luke wants to join us, by all means, uh, we'll, we'll certainly let uh, me grab that. that. Well, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up before I, I feel like I keep reiterating myself. So I'm gonna wrap up. Um, Luke, this is a presentation where Luke, um, I guess revealed his. So this is the first time that I knew how far along it was going. I saw the GitHub issues. Like, wait, it works being done on it. This is where Luke presents the, the real numbers behind it, the history, how he got here, and the, the, the implementations moving forward. And I just, like, this is amazing. Like, for for free, within six months, Luke has literally solved for Nero's biggest insecurity, biggest bug, biggest... FUD thing that people talk about. And literally, I don't know. Like, it's, it's going to be tough for other coins to even... It's tough to compete now, right? If you look at the coin market cap. But now, I like, I I don't even know. This is... I'm still getting the gravity situation together. But this is amazing. Oh. All right, okay. yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah. There are people much we'll, more we'll in it. We, yeah. Sorry. We'll see if Luke jumps on. Um, otherwise, yeah, we'll keep moving. And I'm sure this will be a a continuous, you know, discussed topic. Yeah, evolving. Uh, evolving. I would love to hear that talk. Yeah. That you, because you had people literally two of the biggest projects in a zero knowledge space talking to each other after such a monumentous reveal is crazy. I, I'm, I'm so looking forward to when, when that releases. But like I said, Doug has other cool. videos. So watch other Very videos. Sick. Luke is no stranger. Doug, once again, if something happens, Doug has a video on it. Like it just categorically a true statement. If it, if it happened in the narrow space, Doug has a video covering it. So I think the one um, covering this will come, be out soon. The Luke Parker has been on um, Monero Topia talk. I think like at least three times, as far as I know, maybe even more. But I don't know what any of that means, Luke. I love you. <laughs> I uh, it's amazing. You. I don't know what yeah. they aren't either. I don't know who. Yeah, but sorry. <laughs> Luke made a comment in the if you're if you're watching over audio. Luke made a comment. They aren't either for either Grudel proofs nor FCMP. But yeah. Beyond my oh, full um, chain membership proofs, yeah, full chain membership proofs. Um, what is brutal? But yeah, all right, let's. Well, yeah, uh, I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, we'll move it. Thank you, Digu. That was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, people are asking questions. Luke, could this be implemented on a fork? Like how narrow as a test flight? Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Luke, so super cool. Luke is in the chat right now. Maybe we get him to jump up. Uh, let's let's keep moving. Tux, you want to you want to move on? All right, yep. Let's keep going. Thank you, Digu. Awesome, exciting stuff. Yeah, stick around if you can. Luke might jump on, and then uh, if you're around, we'll bring you up. 